Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. On the bench today, we have the Fluke 21 Electrician's Multimeter. This multimeter was released to the market August of 1996. And of course, it has since, since been discontinued, but uh, like any other multimeter or test device, you can find one probably online like eBay or one of the other sites that's out there. Um, what I'm gonna do is just read off some of the uh, spe specifications about this multimeter. And, uh, you know, just for our enjoyment, guys. So, uh, so anyway, we, uh, before we get started, uh, what I wanna do, I wanna ask you guys to support the channel, those of you who haven't, those of you who have, I really appreciate it. We're trying to get the numbers to grow. And I wanna thank you. So those of you, if you like what you see, uh, you know, I, I'm asking you to join the channel. You can do that for free. Uh, so anyway, so I'm going to give you a closer look at the inside of this multimeter as I do reading uh, some of the reading from some of the specifications. So I'll just, just turn it this way and let you get a good look at it while I'm doing that. Okay. Hold on. Let me... Okay. They say, um, this is a 32, uh, 3200 count multimeter. It updates 2.5 seconds. Analog is 31 segments. Updates in 25 seconds. Response time of digital, I mean the response time of digital display. Uh, for AC volts, it's under two seconds. And for DC volts, it's under one second. Um, operating temperature, uh, zero degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius. And storage temperature, is uh, below 40 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. Temperature coefficient, 0 0.1 by specified accuracy, uh, below 18, less than 18 degrees Celsius to greater than 28 degrees Celsius. Let me see, and there's another one I want you guys to see, let me see. Uh, let me see, electromagnetic capability. They have total accuracy, special, uh, is an RF field of three volts on all. It's plus 0.1% of range, range functions, that's what they have. Uh, relative humility, except 32M range. Um, altitude, operating uh, is 2,000 meters. Storage, is 12,000 meters. Battery type, one nine volt Neta, 1604 or six F22 or 006P. Battery life, 2,000 hours, typical with alkaline. 1,600 hours, typical with carbon sink. Continuity beeper, is 40, 40, 96 Hertz. Shock uh, vibration per MIL-T-PRF uh, 28800F class 3. Same, uh, let me see. The size of it is 3.7 centimeters by 8.9. Um, the weight is 365 grams, and that's 12.9 ounces. Okay, and safety we have model. This is a uh, Series three, all right, CAT, 600 volt, CAT three. And the EMC regulations, it's EN61326-1, uh, 1997. Guys, this multimeter here, uh, let me just get back up. I know I've been, I had to, I had to stop turning the uh, camera for a minute because I had to read. Okay, give you guys a good look at what's here. And they have gold plated where the, um, it's nice, very nice. Anywho, uh, the small meter, it only have the basic functions. That's volts, AC, volts DC, 300 volts, millivolt, uh, millivolt DC. You have content, I mean, uh, resistance. You have diode, get a little closer, diode and continuity. You have amps AC, amps DC. And you see the input jacks. 
here. And this is a pretty decent meter. Look at the size of the fuse. I mean, flute, they really, that battery didn't come, of course, I put that battery in there so it didn't come with it, but it's a really nice, really nice meter. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it back together and um, let me just see, I'll turn it on for you guys. Look how the back look. back up this one it's not much to look at but that's how the back of this one look no kickstand no place to hold the uh, test leads but this is a basic just a basic meter um, just a basic meter and the screw they don't have metal they don't have any metal uh, screw inserts here all plastic so you know there's a possibility if you open it and open it and close them throughout the years you could um you know strip them out so if you have a meter like this or you plan on getting a meter like this uh you want to be careful that you don't cross thread it strip it out or what have you I bought this meter because uh, I have a I have a hard case that goes uh, that I that I purchased, and I did a video a video on it. It's called a Fluke hard case, a Dura case. That's the name of Fluke Dura case. But it's a blow molded case, and it only fits a certain type. It was made sp specifically for a certain type of meters meters that uh, Fluke put out. I was about to say a meter, but it's a different uh, di various meters that that uh, Fluke put out. And this is one of the meters. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on an old meter by Fluke, a real old meter. So I, I found this one online and the price was really nice. So I got this just so I could put inside of the, uh, I could use what that, um, that bag. And I did a video on it. Will I ever use this meter? I'm not gonna say no, but it won't be my first meter that I go to. I have several meters to go to when I wanna use it. But if it's around and I need it, yeah. But I'm, I'm, I probably use it around the house inside the house to do the things around the house. So I'm gonna do the Fluke Famous test with the continuity buzzer, and I'm gonna see just how quick it is, okay? Let me do that. Let me see just how, shoot. Let me see if it's quick like the rest of the Flukes are. Of. Okay, it's not loud though, I tell you that. All right, here we go. Nope, doesn't pass that test. Guess what, it could be the leads. So what I'm gonna do, I'll be fair. I'm gonna take these out and put a pair of uh, Pro Masters in. And uh, I'm gonna see, hold on. It's not too much about this meter. It's just, it's just a basic multimeter. So it's not nothing to really write home about, but, um, so, remember, this is just for entertainment purposes only. So, I'm going to, let's see. I guess it's a little better, right? No. Not, no, not good at all. But anyway, pretty decent meter. And uh, like I said, it's not much I can really say about it. So uh, if you're looking for one, you, could, you can purchase one. And this is, I see right here at the bottom where I got thrown off, I just caught my eye. It said touch and hold, one second auto range. I guess gotta be on votes to do that. So 
Let me see. Okay, I seen something that, that changed in the screen at the top. If you guys see it too, see it right here in the corner? Watch. I guess there's some kind of auto range here. Yeah. But anyway, it's just a basic meter, guys. Um, you use this nine volt battery and I'm gonna see just how fast it, how fast it, uh, it is. That is pretty fast though. Huh. That's a nine volt batteries, guys, that I'm using. Pretty fast. Anyway, guys, look, I'm not gonna hold you long talking about this little meter, this uh, the multimeter, but I just hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, just want to put something out and uh, let you guys be entertained. Uh, join me again, back here again for more uh, videos. There will be more coming. Uh, if you want to leave a comment, you can do that. Uh, ask a question, you can do that also. But don't forget to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys. Okay, thank you. You guys be safe, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.